Hello, Barnies. Nice to be with you today again and share God's word with you from Hebrews chapter 3. We're going to verse 7 to 19. And I want you to constantly ask three questions. One, what does it say about God? What does it say about people? And what does it say to me personally as well? Let's go from verse 7. It says, the Holy Spirit says. Uh, and in chapter 1, it says, and God spoke uh, in the past. God spoke to us through the prophets, but now through his son. So now he's also saying here that he is speaking through and by his Holy Spirit. It doesn't say how he did it. Did he speak verbally or, or, or an audible voice? Or did he speak through somebody else? But it says, today, if you harden if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Uh, so firstly, about God is the Spirit speaks. About people, we are able to harden our hearts when it comes to God. And the, and, and the heading here is a warning against unbelief. All right, so the, the hardening heart is is, is is people that are in the church, people that are in the faith, people that have followed God through the, the deliverance and into the wilderness. And, he, and they, they seem to follow and then harden their hearts. And that's the warning here as well. He says in verse 10, I was angry with that generation. You know, we don't want to think that God still gets angry. We think that everything is covered uh, by Christ. And it is true. But it's only if we're walking faithfully in Him that we are shielded from the anger of God. So God got angry with just generation. And a whole generation missed out on the promise God made to them because they were in rebellion against God. So again, about God, that God gets angry about people that we can miss out on the promises of God. Then in verse 12, an interesting thing here, it says, See to it, brothers, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. Again, speaking to believers, a heart that becomes hardened through circumstances or through just stubbornness or maybe through a lack of fellowship as well. Because the right, the next verse, it says, but encourage one another daily. In other words, we've got to be in fellowship to be encouraged and to encourage. Encourage one another daily, as long as it's called day, so that none of you may be hardened by sin, sin's deceitfulness. Hear about you and me, my friend. The question, what does it say to me as a human being? That if I'm not in fellowship regularly with people and encouraged and be encouraged, that this life and the deceitfulness of sin can harden me towards God and the things of God as well. And then here comes that call again to you and me. It says in uh, verse 15, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as in the day of rebellion. So that is an application to people who are listening today. Do not harden your heart towards the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. So you, you, can, you can see here a generation that missed out on the promises of God. A whole generation, 40 years. And they died and the next generation. So rebellion can cost us. To see the promises of God, the fulfillment of God's promises. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that as people. Another thing about God in verse 18, it says, And to whom God swear that they would never enter the rest. They didn't enter the rest. You know, it, it's, it, I find it tough to sometimes think like, God, here's Moses, your boy. He led them out of, out of Egypt. He led them into the desert. And, and he was part of this nation that maybe rebelled and, and made you angry. And, and you stopped him as well from entering the promised land. Eventually he could see it, but not enter it. That's, that's quite tough. But when God says it, it's done. He keeps his promises, even if it's hard, tough promises. All right. So what do you and I learn from this lesson today is that the Holy Spirit speaks. That God still gets upset with us if we harden our hearts. And that God keeps his word if he says he's going to do something, even if it's positive or negative. About people, we learn that we harden our hearts even while we may be walking with God and fall out of fellowship. We can harden our heart. We need to encourage one another daily uh, in our faith so that we can see and enter into the place that God has for us. Father, help us in Jesus' name as people to continuously encourage one another to hear what the Spirit says today when we hear His voice, not to harden our hearts, but to walk faithfully with You for Your glory and honor. In Jesus' name, Amen.